the, the new white book is comes out ten years after the original white book, and its its main aims, I think, are uh, educational, but not aimed at specialists, but more at the general public, the non-specialist uh, medical personnel, um, the media, and that policymakers, in particular politicians, um, and we are aiming to educate them about the broad nature of the specialty of respiratory medicine because unlike some specialties we cover a very wide range of um, very important diseases and I think this is poorly understood outside the specialty and it's not helped by the fact that the specialty itself goes under several different names in different countries so it's not like cardiology which is universally recognized so it's an educational tool but also a tool for advocacy and, and a source of resource for information for people who wish to uh, use up-to-date data in order to influence policymakers. There's been an encouraging reduction in smoking over the last 10 years in many Western countries, particularly in men, much, much less so in women. Uh, and in some countries, it, there's been no reduction, and indeed there may have been uh, some rise, and there are worrying trends in, in young women, for instance. So that, of course, does mean that in the long term, there should be a reduction in the incidence uh, of particularly lung cancer and COPD. But because of the long latency of both conditions, we're not going to see this, even in countries where the smoking rate has gone down, for decades to come. We anticipate that over the next 10, 20 years, the overall mortality from respiratory disease is probably not going to change very much. But the components of uh, different conditions are likely to change because we would anticipate a reduction in deaths from infections, from pneumonia and from tuberculosis. But this will be balanced by uh, some rise in deaths from smoking related diseases, COPD and lung cancer. Um, another area where there almost certainly has been an increase is in occupational lung disease. Um, for instance, in occupational asthma, the number of recognized causes continues to increase. Uh, and even among the general public, the problem of air pollution remains and may well increase because uh, many countries have not reached anything like the standards set down by the WHO as the guideline levels for various pollutants, both for indoor air and outdoor air. Um, and I think this is increasingly recognized as a, as a major contributor to, to the causation of respiratory disease. In addition to the conventional epidemiology of respiratory disease, we've also tried to estimate the overall socio-economic burden. Um, and here there are some problems because of lack of data. Uh, so the analysis has been limited to the 28 countries of the EU, and it only covers um, a number of conditions, in fact seven of the major conditions. So the estimates we've made are certainly underestimates.